Welcome back fellow coders. In today's video I'm going to give a quick demo on something I'm working on. Um, so let me give you a little introduction on why I'm working on this. Um, so I wanted to make a PLC programming course uh, but I want to be able to keep the cost down and I want people to be able to experiment with hardware uh, as a real PLC project. But I realized that PLCs are quite expensive. They can run anywhere from a couple hundred dollars to up to a thousand, up to five to tens of thousands of dollars uh, if you run for the high-end Allen Bradley PLCs. Um, so I was come, trying to come up with ways of how to do this with something cheap. Um, my first thought was to maybe get a cheap click PLC and then um, interface that with maybe the Siemens program, the Siemens software, log, uh, software programming, or even the Allen Bradley. Um, but even then the click is a hundred and you know, they run around 60 and up and they run all, almost all the way to $200. Uh, so for, for my, for this demo, my solution was to maybe use an Arduino. Uh, now I've been working with a Python library that communicates with Alan Bradley and so I thought maybe I should do a quick demo to see how this works. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how this works real real life. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how this works uh, in real time and we'll talk about the script and how to set things up uh, later on. So I have my soft logics running and I just have the CPU on slot 2 and the Ethernet on slot 3 and that's how we communicate with Python. So let me run this script and the Arduino and the Arduino is now waiting for commands. So if I hit if I hit this push button, you'll see the logic in the PLC also going high, and the LED going high as well. This is the and this is the Arduino Arduino clone. So uh, if I let go of the button, the ladder logic will glow and everything will glow. So that's our quick demo. Um, let me show you what I have here. This is a, a very bare bones project. I just added two controller tags. And actually, before we get into the details, I'm just going to toggle this bit. And that's going to make this script stop and it's going to close our COM port. So, in order to get this going, we need a few libraries. We need the Pi Serial, which is a requirement for Pi Formata. So you don't have to install it. You can just go ahead and install Pi Formata. And that should bring Pi Serial as well. Uh, you see here, I already have them installed, so it didn't install anything. But just, just so you know, so you need those two dependencies for this for this to work as well and you need a third third one called and you need a third one called pile logics um there isn't a pip install for this one yet uh hopefully in the future we can work with that and make it into a pip install but for now you just have to download and you have to make sure that 
those two files EIP and Logix device is in the same folder where you run the script. So just to go over the script, this is not a beginner's Python tutorial. Um, so I expect for some you know, I expect for you guys to know how to install modules and how to go about looking for documentation. Uh, but this is a very simple setup. I just wanted to make sure that I could communicate from SoftLogix, which is a soft PLC software, a virtual PLC, to my Arduino hardware. And so I was able to accomplish that with this basic, basic script. So we do our imports here. So I have this Boolean read because I'm only using it for true or false bits, but you can call it whatever you want. Uh, it does return more than true or false. It returns any value that comes from that tag, just so you know. And you can find more information about this PyLogix, and I will put the link in the description as well. So for PyLogix to communicate with our Python script, we need to know our IP and the slot. And that comes from how you have your setup, right? So as I said before, we have SoftLogix on slot two and Ethernet on slot three. Um, but we only care about the IP and the slot. Here we have some sort of legacy code that where I was trying with just with serial. But I kind of quickly went away from that because every time I had a new tag or a new input, I will have to go back to my Arduino and rewrite the code. So with Fermata, you just load the standard and you go to town. This Two tags are back actually being read from the SoftLogix PLC. We do a standard setup here. We need to COM port. If you're on Linux or Mac, you'll have to get that COM. And you can get the COM port also from the bottom of your Arduino IDE. We start our uh, iterator here, and what the iterator does, what what it does for us is that it's constantly checking if there is, if our if there's any change between our outputs or inputs. Uh, so it's always updating as it needs to, and it's not pushing commands through serial all the time. Otherwise, you will get a overflow on the buffer. Here we set our input on digital pin number two for our switch, and then an output on pin number 13. And you don't, if you don't have any LEDs at hand, you can just rely on the onboard LED. And lastly, this piece of code is what is was actually doing all the work. So if our closed serial bit is low in the PLC, then we can go ahead and read our switch value. And then we're constantly reading LD status and closed serial in the, from the PLC. So in the event that closed serial goes high, then this while loop will be false. And then it will go to the last line on line 64, which is board exit. And that's gonna close our port and exit the, the script. So here, if our switch value is being pressed, then we will write to the PLC a true value on this program tag, which is to turn the LED on. Otherwise, we will just write a false.
And the same goes for the LED, though this is going backwards. Um, we're reading the LED status from the PLC, SoftLogix, and if that's high, then we are writing to our Arduino through Firmata. So sort of a two-way two, two -way communication. We read stuff from the PLC, we send, send it through Firmata, we want to write, and also it works the other way. We get our hardware information data, send it to Fermata, and then we can simulate or uh, modify bits in the PLC. And just so you know, I, it doesn't really matter uh, if it's a program tag or a controller tag. I, I just kind of add two and two just, just for testing purposes. Pyologix um, can work with controller or program tags uh, either way. So that's the Python side. It's very simple. I mean, I, I just did this just through going through the documentation. The other important thing is to load the standard Fermata. And so I just load standard Fermata and then your Arduino will be ready to go. And lastly, I hope you have some similar, uh, and lastly, I hope that you already have some training in SoftLogix. Uh, it's not too complicated. Um, just sort of, just launch SoftLogix, um, add your CPU, add your ethernet, ethernet module, and then you set that up on the configuration as well. Um, I have two controller tags and two program tags. Uh, but again, this can be named whatever you want. And then on our simple main routine, we'll add a comment here. And we'll add another comment here. And that's it. This is a very bare bones program. So in order to get this whole thing working, We'll do a quick quick recap. So you'll install PyFermata. You will load the center from other sketch to Arduino. You will download the basic program to SoftLogix PLC. Lastly, you will run the Python script. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think about this idea, uh, the idea of having a high-end software programming tool in order to learn programming, lateral logic programming, function blocks, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever Arslogic supports.
and being able to actually see that happening on a cheap microcontroller with real hardware without having to spend tons of money. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.